Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are all well. So in today's episode, let's talk crepes. We're going to be talking about the Air Max 90 Nordic or Christmas jumper as it's referred to, which released back in December 2020. Now, if you're new to the channel, please consider liking, commenting and subscribing. I upload every Saturday and with that being said, let's jump straight into this video. Okay, so just a little bit of history about this shoe before I get into it, like I always do. Inside the box here, we have the Air Max 90 Nordic release from December 2022. Uh, it's also referred to as the Christmas sweater, as um, I'll get into when we see the, see the shoe a bit more as to why it was referred to as that. But it comes in your generic standard run of the mill red Nike sportswear box. Like I say, we're very familiar with this box by now. It can do all the damage. <laughs> it's uh, from 2020, uh, 2020, so it's going to be a bit damaged now. Um, before I get any more tongue tied, <laughs> here's the box label. So, colorway is white, university red, and this is a UK 10. I believe these retailed for 130 Great British Pounds, but I'm not entirely sure on that. Obviously, it's all resale now anyway. Um, you can't pick these up in stores. Anyway, getting into the box itself. Obviously, I've taken the, I've taken the uh, tissue paper out of here, like I normally do when I'm storing shoes. I don't tend to leave them with that in there. Um, so I'll get rid of the box, and you have the shoes themselves. I absolutely love these shoes. I wear them every festive season. They are like slippers with how comfy and warm they are. Um, and yeah, I'll get into the uh, I'll get into the materials a bit more. So, as you can probably see from here, the upper is made from this icicle graphic with like a lucky green background, sort of resembling sort of like a Christmas sweater. That's where it gets its name from. And this runs along the toe box, as you can see here, and then goes right around up the sort of the neck of the shoe as well, and around the heel tab. Um, very nice plush material. I'll be honest, doesn't wear well in the wet and the snow because of the material it is, it just becomes really heavy. So like I say, I use it more as a slipper to be honest, because um, you've got this lovely sock liner as you can see in here. So this is like a very sort of fluffy sock liner. And I believe, Nike said, it's the idea of it is meant to sort of resemble Santa's coat, like the inner liner of his coat, which I think is quite a cool little thing. Um, so that's that bit there. Uh, going on to the side panels, you have this nice leather sort of white upper panel, as you can sort of see here. And then you have your sort of dark green uh, mud guard, which is also a leather accompanied with this red Nike swoosh. Again, leather, very good quality shoe. Um, your back tab is standard like PVC plasticky sort of rubber material with the green and the white Nike text on there, which is very nice. And then your mud guard, not mud guard, sorry, your um, midsole, you have a, I think it's just a, yeah, it's a red air unit with the sort of red surround around it, accompanied with the white. And then your standard run of the mill Air Max 90 waffle outsole in the green and red. Um, the only other difference with this as well is the inside on the sock liner. So not sock liner, it's already insole. You can see the Nike text in up a little snow globe, which is a really nice touch. And that's on both the shoes. Um, I have changed actually the laces on these. So I've just put some generic flat white laces into this because of the ones that come with it are here. I've still got them. Now they've got nice sort of green um, like aglets to them. But the actual rope itself is a really thin, and it's just a horrible lace if I'm honest. I don't know what Nike were thinking with it. It's like see-through, horrible, roping lace that's just, it's not thick enough. It just doesn't feel right when you're lacing your shoes up. So I swapped them out. That's the only downside to this shoe I've got. The rest of it's absolutely wicked. Um, no changes between the two shoes. They are the same inside and out. And uh, with that being said, Let's jump to some on foot.
Okay, so that just about wraps up today's video on this shoe. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. It's all free, it costs you nothing, and it helps you massively grow in the channel. Thank you again for taking the time to watch this video today. I consider it's a very busy time of the year with all the festive activities going on. So uh, yeah, thank you for taking the time to watch it. And I hope you have an amazing festive season. Um, and take care, and I'm sure I'll see you again soon.